Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The afternoon session begins here. So I would like to call upon the first presentation in the afternoon session, School Resource System by Spoken Tutorial Team. A big round of applause for them. Thank you, my friend. A warm good afternoon to everyone. I am Abhishek Datta from Spoken Tutorial Team, and I am here to present the School Resource System. Before digging in deep, uh, first let me introduce you, or first let me tell you our mission. So our main mission or the main objective is to bring free and quality educational resources on a single window so that it can be accessed not only to the students but also those who uh, want to get or those who are interested in uh, or require any resources uh, related to the schools so that they can get it in a single window. That is our main mission. So behind this mission there has to be some challenge or there has to be some problem. And uh, due to which we we have this mission. So the problem is the literacy. Uh, right from the independence, we have uh, done a lot uh, for literacy in our country, but it is not uh, still not great. Uh, we are at 74 percent, but the world average is 84 percent. So we have to do a lot. So for this, uh, we need something uh, which is more rapid or something. Uh, which can be access to a larger people uh, more quickly. So the thing we can do is through internet and also through free open source. So this is what uh, school resource system is about. So I am going to introduce school resource system. It is a resource library or a website which has resources which are of following types for now, but it may be added many other resources uh, in future. Uh, basically it has FETs, uh, which are physics, education, technologies. Uh, these are simulations, which enhances the learning experiences uh, through simulations. And we have tutorials, which are video lectures. Uh, we have uh, some mind maps or concept maps, which are HTML pages, uh, which can uh, glide from one place to another on clicking on it. And we have some additional material, which are like PDFs or some other links to various other sites. And also now uh, let me tell you about uh, our system's requirement specification. It is just like the waterfall model we have designed. So the technologies we have used in the back end are the, basically the Java, like uh, we have used JSPs and we have used servlets. Uh, for the front end we have used the basic technologies like HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, Ajax. And uh, for the database we, are, we have used MySQL. So now let me tell you about the system design. Before that, uh, I should introduce you about the actors of this system. Uh, that is, what are the interfaces? Uh, this are, there are three interfaces. Uh, the user interface. Uh, this is the general interface. Uh, since it is an open source, uh, so all the resources which are present in this website can be accessed easily, uh, which is uh, free of cost and for all. And the second one is for the contributor. Uh, the system. Uh, requires uh, some contributors to contribute these resources so that uh, they may be available for all the community. And last, uh, we have administrator, of course, uh, so that he can review what all contents are there in the resources and uh, he can accept those or he can uh, tell the contributor that it needs some uh, improvement like that. Uh, so uh, this is how it works. Very simple. In the layman terms, the contributors contribute and uh, that contributions are received in the system, uh, then it is reviewed by the administrator, uh, and if it, it is OK, it goes to the database. And uh, for uh, accessing, it is, from, uh, it is accessible from, by the user uh, from anywhere, uh, as it is open source. So this is uh, the activity diagram. As you can see, uh, the contributor needs to log into the database, means he needs a registered account. Uh, and he needs to be validated by the administrator. And once he has done that, he can log into his account, he can uh, uh, give his co contributions, and uh, if that resource which is contributed by the contributor uh, is uh, good by the administrator or it is okay, uh, administrator publishes it, or otherwise uh, he tells the contributor that an improvement is required. So it goes like that. And uh, in the uh, bottom, you can see is the admin's activity diagram. Uh, so it's same like uh, he needs to log in, and the system verifies where, whether he's an admin or not, 
and uh, he can do uh, because he's he has the sole responsibility uh, he can also contribute he can also uh, he obviously he reviews what all contributions are made and also he verifies uh, that the, the resources are authentic or not and that's it, that's it. and uh, now i will be showing you some slides or uh, these are some screenshots of the project that we have made uh, so uh, this is the front page uh, i would like to tell you this is the prototype and it may subject to change and uh, as you can see there is menu bar and this is a carousel and uh, it's the front page only that's scrolled one so uh, it displays about what are fetch tutorials mind maps what are the basic resources that are available till now in the system and also these are some more options like uh, some news related or some samples or this about uh, the system so now uh, let me tell you uh, how a uh, one can access or a user can access the resource which is there in this system uh, so for that he need not he need not to log in so for that we have used some searching options which we say the filter search uh, in which we have to step by step uh, select some options and we get it to the resources that we want so the first one we will selecting a subject uh, then we will be selecting a grade uh whatever grade you are in or you want to search uh then again it will go to a new page and you will have more filters uh, like uh, if you want some topics or uh, then you can go to some resources the four available resources that i have already told you can select any one of that and it will directly take to that resource page so resource page uh is like it's displaying additional material so uh you need not to go back to the filter page again you can directly glide to uh, tutorials like uh, from that drawers which is at the uh, left corner uh, so you can go directly go to the tutorials you can directly go to the fets and on clicking on the links it will directly uh, get you to that uh, get you to that and some of them are not just the links like concept maps these are actually uh, the html pages i have already told you uh, so on clicking it it fetches from the server and it displays to you so next i will uh, this was about the general interface that can be accessed by everyone and now i will be showing you about the contributor uh, as i already told uh, that contributor needs to register himself so this is the registration page to become a contributor so for the purpose i have already created a contributor and i will be logging in so once i log in the dashboards uh, the, uh, of that contributor will open and you can see a drop down menu uh, it has uh, some options like uh, reset or edit profile then you can also have you can see some options like to contribute uh, so this gives the uh, options for the contributor to contribute the resources on clicking on it again that filter option comes so that the contributor can select a resource that he wants to contribute uh so like for additional material he can upload a link or upload some text or pdf files uh for some like uh, this is the pop up after clicking on one of those uh, a pop up will come so if you want to uh, insert a link he can do or he can uh, upload a file or he can also for the tutorials he can embed it from the youtube or he can also fetch from the spoken tutorials our website or from other sources as well so and also the fetch uh, fetch uh, he can also embed it or he can also create and upload and uh, this is the file upload this is uh, basically for that mind maps he has to upload some zip file containing index.html so this is an example that uh, uh, user is uh, contributor is uploading so if he uploads the successful message as you can see will be there and uh, this was for that contributor now for the admin uh, once it is done it will go to the admin so now let's go to the admin's uh, interface and you can see uh, he has options like accept additional materials or tutorials facts so on clicking one of those uh, he can uh, see uh, whether some contributions are made and he needs to review or it not so once he click on it yeah, as you can see there is one uh, so uh, on clicking on the review button he will get an option like uh, uh, he needs to and you can see the publish and need improvement buttons are first disabled uh, once he clicks the view button uh, 
uh, it will be enabled, and then only he can uh, publish or do the need improvement or select the need improvement option. Otherwise, it cannot. So it validates uh, that uh, uh, the admin reviews it at least once. So this is how it, it is done. Uh, so this was for that uh, uh, administrator point of view. And also, we have tried to make our system as responsive so that every user with different devices can work on. So, so what's next? Means this was the resource system about. And what all functionalities, let's see, we can add. There are, I know there are a lot of modifications that we can do. Like uh, we can add more filter search. I know uh, we need more uh, good UI. And also we can add some other modules, like payment modules for the contributors who are contributing. Uh, so this was it about the resource. This is a very basic and uh, simple one. So this was Thank you. And any questions? You have one admin or many admins? Uh, till now for only one admin is there. Okay, so the one admin is going to manage everything. Ha, we are we are planning. There okay. must be many admins. Uh, like contributors are uh, uh, a fat. They are making a fat, suppose, and they will be uploading. So they need to be paid. They need to be paid back. Ha means ha yeah. Not they. Have. No, they why? <laughs> Okay, and uh, the contributors uh, give the permission to become a contributor? The admin only. For once he register. Normal user cannot become a contributor? No, normal user can also become a contributor. Uh, he needs to, uh, from the registration page, he will be registering it. Uh, then from the page, uh, an option is there. Like edit profile. If a normal user, uh, when he is logged in, uh, he can go to that edit profile and there will be an option to become a contributor. So like that. Yeah. Admin. Yeah, and, and. So, so uh, how are you embedding PHET content? Hello. Uh, are you embedding PHET content, fat content, or you are just giving a link? No, uh, that will be contributed from that. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. But the contributor is allowed to embed content, or huh, he, he will is, just give the link. Uh, for the fat uh, now, now only he can embed. For like concept maps, he can upload also. He can uh, he has all the options and for also the additional materials, uh, which can be PDF text or some links also. Okay, and okay. for mind map, yeah. um, you said that zip file can be uploaded, but ah. how will he create the zip file? Uh, he means he needs uh, in a folder he should have a index.html and he needs to zip it, and then he will upload it. No, but uh, see, mind map is uh, uh, architecture where uh, link nodes are linked each to each other, correct? Ha, it should be so inside. what what should be there in a zip file other than index.html? Like uh, uh, other HTML pages will also be there. Means okay. So it's source a source file should be, source page should be there that will link to other files. So do you have any example of that? Uh, yeah. Not now, okay. No, no problem. How will you standardize on the mind maps? Like Everybody will submit different maps, right? Yeah, that... Uh, a particular say for uh, something laws of motion, I, I must say, uh, user uploads. So with that same for same name, he cannot upload it again. And no, there no. is admin. So he what will what that. what am I supposed to upload? I have four or five nodes. Okay. So am I going to draw images for each of the nodes? What no, I'm supposed uh, means, to upload? Uh, but that is not our point of concern. <laughs> means I put an image anywhere in the in the node. So I, I have I have ten I have ten nodes in my mind map. Yeah. Okay, I have a, I put an image, some image. So random image I select. So you will get different contribution from everybody. That's why we have the moderator, no? The admin who is going to moderate. So then there is a communication that is happening. Yes. So that was not clear. That is there some communication? See, his, his job was to create the website hmm. which will enable somebody to see visible resources, okay. enable Open. people yeah. to contribute and an admin to moderate. He has delivered what he was asked to do. Hmm, sir, like How people is create the content is not and covered. Uh, in an H, it's an HTML page only. So when I click on like laws of motion, it goes to some another page. So it's like a basic one. So you will provide a template? to the user? 
No. We will be not no. providing. No. So it's they are free to create in whichever way they want. Yeah, 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 yeah correct. It is like in Wikipedia, you can yeah, say yeah. like you can just gliding from one point to another point. If there are more pages in that directly only, it can glide it. Thanks. Content related is not. Thank you for.